Although similar in configuration to the LCT landing craft tank that was roughly half the size, the landing ship tank LST was a highly specialised design capable of ocean crossings as well as shore groundings. As can be seen in the film, the LST has a special flat keel which allowed the ship to beach and remain upright while twin propellers and rudders were protected from grounding. An anchor and mechanical winch system also aided in the ship's ability to pull itself off the beach. To meet the conflicting requirements of deep draft for ocean travel and shallow draft for beaching, the ship was designed with a large ballast system that could be filled for ocean passage and pumped for the beaching operations. This meant vehicles and men could disembark from the ramps onto a dry beach instead of wading through several feet of water. During World War II, such a high priority was assigned to the construction of LSTs that the keel of an aircraft carrier previously laid in the dock was hastily removed to make place for several LSTs to be built instead. Since most shipbuilding activities in the United States were located in coastal yards and were largely used for construction of large deep draft ships, new construction facilities were established along inland waterways seen in this film. This posed the problem of getting the completed ships from the inland building yards to deep water and the US Navy successfully undertook the modification of bridges through a ferry command. One resident of East Liverpool, Ohio, recalls standing along the river watching LSTs pass on the way to New Orleans for final fitting and sea trials in the Gulf of Mexico. Of the over 1,000 LSTs built during World War II, 670 were constructed by the five major cornfield shipyards of the Middle West, much to the astonishment of the long-established shipbuilders on the coasts. Recently discovered film shows the Free French 2nd Armoured Division embarking onto LSTs at Embarkation Hard S3 at Southampton outside today's Platform Tavern, with a medieval God's House Tower just visible in the background with Howland and Wolf Engineering Works alongside. On the right is LST-293 laid down at Ambridge, Pennsylvania by the American Bridge Company, sponsored by Mrs. Mason and skippered by Lieutenant J.C. Camp of the U.S. Marines. On the left is LST-215, built by the Chicago Bridge and Iron Company of Seneca, Illinois. She saw service with the Royal Navy and was skippered by Commander Retired Garth Owls of the Royal Navy. Of course, Leclerc's troops, seen in the film, went on to liberate Paris. In total, 38 LSTs were also converted to serve as small hospital ships during Operation Overlord, and it is estimated brought over 41,000 wounded men back across the English Channel from Normandy, many landing on the same embarkation hard seen in this film.